You know what I find absolutely adorable in the 2K community is how excited everyone is about NBA 2K21 Next Gen. And I'll be honest, man, I'm I'm pretty damn excited too, bro. It's been a damn long time since we got a new generation console, been about seven years to be exact. And I'm looking forward to seeing the graphical improvements to next gen physics and the mechanics and the foot planting. Oh god, and the sweat. Good gracious, the sweat and sweat and more sweat. The facial expression. Did you see Zion? Look at how thick he was in that video. Listen, the game looks really promising, man. And they're getting rid of the neighborhoods. So it's going to be a fresh new park or world or 2K world or whatever the hell it is. Bro, I'm excited. But I got to be the Debbie Downer here. I, it's my job to be Buzz Killington here. My job is to tell all of you to hold your horses and relax a little bit. Temper those expectations because once the game comes out, I know for damn sure y'all gonna complain. Alright, think about how long I've been around the 2K community, man. I've been around the 2K for about 10 years now. I've been playing since like 2K12. Alright, I've seen my fair share of cheese. And when Next Gen came out for PS4, I was just like, yo, man, this is crazy. Everyone was like, yo, this is crazy. But the fact of the matter was, there were still bugs, there were still cheese, and people. After they got the, after they got past the first like two months of the game and the lore washed off as with anything new, then they were like, "Yo, man, I, I kind of, I'm kind of disappointed, bro. I'm kind of annoyed, man. Fix the game, Mike Wang. Fix the game, Ronnie 2K. Fix the game, LD 2K." I can just see it right now, man. Day one of the game comes out and then you load in and realize the curry slide is still in the game, the speed boost is still in the game, post hooks are still OP. Contact dunks are still OP. Hell, y'all saw D'Angelo Russell go put someone on a poster? Like, that ever happens. That's just how it's gonna go, man. I feel like Cleopatra opened this bitch, man. I, I got my crystal ball right here. I see exactly what's gonna happen. What's gonna happen is, day one, the game's gonna come out, or whenever, whenever the hell you get the game, the game's gonna come out. You're gonna get the game, you're gonna be like, yo, man, there's a skill gap here, man. This, the, the learning curve is too steep. Come on, Mike Wang, Ronnie 2K, LD 2K. Please fix the damn game, bro. It's too hard. It's too hard up in this bitch. And then what's going to happen after two, three weeks of denial? Eventually, Mike Wang and the powers that be are going to change the game. They're going to acquiesce. That's the word of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Ac they're going to acquiesce to your demands. And then there's going to be more ways to cheese the game. All right. And then number two, what's going to happen is eventually some nerd is going to figure out how to cheese the game, how to speed boost, how to do all these cheesy ass moves. You're going to watch his dribble tutorials on YouTube. And then what's going to happen is you're going to play exactly the same way. And then what you're going to do is you're going to bitch every single time you lose the game because you're going to say, this guy is playing exactly how he wants to play and how everyone else plays and how it's cheesy. Meanwhile, you're doing the exact same thing. And you're going to play against the paint beast who's going to have his way with you in the paint with slashes. You're going to get contact dunks. All right. That's exactly what's going to happen. Don't even lie to yourself. That's exactly what's going to happen. Number two. Number three, what's going to happen is there's going to be microtransactions. A lot of microtransactions. You're going to have to take loans out to pay VC to buy your freaking sweater with Mickey Mouse's dumbass face on it. That's what's going to happen. And it's never going to change because 2K's MO is the game. 2K's MO is money. They want you to pay for VC. All right. Oh, and by the way, that doesn't just go for my career. Okay, let me tell you, man. They're going to make it very hard for you to upgrade your player. But on top of that, man, they're also going to make it hard for you to make new builds, as they've done the past several years. And on top of that, my team. Oh, boy. If you are a my team content creator, if you are trying to open packs, boy, you might as well go to Vegas. Because that is straight gambling, all right? You are gambling with real-life money. You're paying hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And I know, because I've done that dumb shit before. I did in 2K13, never again, all right? I got Allen Iverson for one pack in 2K13. I went crazy, I bought a shit ton of packs, all right? What you're going to do is if you're a My Team fiend, you're going to buy a bunch of packs, waste a lot of money. You're going to cry when you don't get a diamond or a pink diamond or an onyx or a freaking galaxy opal or a freaking platinum nebula, whatever the hell other color they're going to come out with. That's what's gonna happen, all right? You're gonna be broke. You're gonna complain about bugs. You're gonna complain about the toxic community, which is, oh, goodness gracious. Until the sorry-ass Clippers win 
a NBA championship and hang championship banners in Staples Center. Suck it up. You don't have to deal with little, uh, little dumb 12 year olds cussing you out and telling you that they banged your mama. Alright, deal with that. Oh, and finally, server issues. You're gonna complain about server issues. The 2K servers suck. They're always gonna suck. They're never not going to suck. They're gonna suck probably even more when next gen comes out. Alright, my advice to you simple. Lower those expectations, and, and this comes with anything in life. Lower your expectations, whether it's you're going on a date, whether you're getting married, whether you're going into a job, whether you're whatever it is you're doing, and this is probably terrible advice, but I'm saying to you, lower your expectations, understand that there's going to be flaws with the game, and just be at peace with it, because to be honest with you, man, let's face it, until EA decides for some odd reason that they're not making enough money with Madden and with FIFA, they decide to make another NBA Live game. Let's be real. This is all we got, folks. So try to enjoy it. Again, lower those expectations. Don't expect the game of the generation. All right, this is going to be the first game of next gen. It's going to have a lot of problems. And it, man, we could be in the virtual reality era for 2K and we'd still have problems with the game. That's just a matter of fact. All right, it's going to come with those faults. Try to enjoy it, man, in spite of it. That's the same way, the same life advice I got for you, man. Life is gonna come with a bunch of roadblocks, and I don't know why I turned into this accent, but the fact of the matter is, you gotta enjoy life and try to work around life, no matter what kind of hiccups you got going on. Alright, so this turned from a 2K rant into a motivational speech. I did not expect this turn. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy that, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, do all that fun shit. Alright, peace out. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.